At the end of this med mastery lesson, you will be able to recognize and diagnose injuries to the bowel and mesentery. Remember that with solid organ injuries, you can easily see hematomas and linear lacerations coursing through enhancing tissue. In contrast, bowel injuries can be very subtle and sometimes are only suspected because of unexplained blood products in the abdomen. You should be concerned about blood when you see fluid measuring greater than 30 Hounsfield units or HU. In this example, the density is 55 Hounsfield units. Many bowel injuries don't go completely through the intestinal wall, like this tear of the outer serosal lining or a hematoma causing wall thickening. Acute traumatic injury to the bowel and mesentery is less common than solid organ injury. However, detection of even a subtle bowel injury is essential because delayed diagnosis and repair of bowel injury can result in serious morbidity such as perforation, abscess, and complicated surgery with impaired healing. Remember that even severe solid organ injuries are often managed non-operatively when possible. In contrast, a questionable or subtle bowel injury usually requires prompt surgical exploration and repair. There can also be injuries to the mesentery, which result in bleeding from the mesenteric vessels. These injuries carry a risk of bowel ischemia as they disrupt the blood flow to and from the bowel. Injury to the mesentery can occur on its own or can be associated with bowel injury. On CT imaging, mesenteric injury will look like stranding and dense fluid in the mesentery related to blood products. There can also be active venous or arterial bleeding. These injuries are important to report and may still require surgical attention as they can threaten the blood supply of the bowel. In this case, there was a relatively large amount of pelvic blood surrounding bowel loops, but no definite site of injury. A hidden bowel injury seems possible in this case. The patient was taken to surgery and a mesenteric and cervical injury of the cecum was identified and repaired. A delay in detecting this diagnosis could have resulted in perforation, abscess, and a more complicated surgery with longer recovery. Thus, the presence of unexplained blood on trauma CT is enough to raise the suspicion of a bowel injury. Note that there is an important team approach to reporting and understanding subtle findings that might indicate an underlying injury. Imaging findings are correlated with a clinical picture from the trauma team. Additionally, short-term follow-up imaging can help to determine if a patient can be safely observed or requires surgical exploration. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.